Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome back to covering chapter six. And let me share my screen and solve some of those chapter six homework problems so you can, uh, you know, uh, get those homework problems done. So I like to start with number four, probably. Um, in exercise three, that might be your homework. Uh, you need to calculate a, uh, break even points and draw a graph just like this. And that's how the graph looks like in exercise uh, three, uh, in case you have, uh, uh, you know, thinking about how to do exercise three. Uh, the graph starts from here because that's the variable expenses that we have, okay? And, uh, but the first in problem number two, if you look at it uh, and you wanna see the break even point in the graph, that's the break even point in the graph that uh, shows where uh, you have enough revenue to pay for the expenses, but making zero profit. And that's the graph. That's the point of break-even points. So your graph should look something like this. If you sell anything above break-even point, that will be the profit area. If you sell some below break-even point, right there, that will become loss. And as you see here, this is your fixed expenses, okay? Fixed expenses are always fixed. But variable expenses starts from zero if you produce nothing, but then you start selling and then your variable expenses will go up and up. So fixed expenses, they are always fixed and that, that's a straight line, horizontal. So let me show you the... Um, so I'll show you the exercise two, just in case you want to look at it. This is the solution. And this is how your graph will look like, okay? For exercise three, this is the solution again. And that's where your graph Starts. So it's a profit graph without showing any uh, uh, fixed expenses. So as you see, Here is the zero profit right there. Zero profit. So your sales has to be enough to get to the break even point and then make more profit after that. Okay, but uh, exercise number four is uh, more calculation. So let's focus on that. And we like to Close chapter five and get to chapter six. Cost volume profit analysis. For calculation of break even point, uh, what I suggest is uh, thinking about uh, how do you want to calculate break-even point for sales dollars? Uh, or how, how about break-even point for unit, units that you need to sell? How do you do that? And uh, in order to calculate break-even points, remember you need to always pay for fixed expenses, right? So all your fixed expenses, divided by contribution margin per unit, 
it gives you break even point based on units. How many units you need to sell in order to break even point. So the formula is fixed expenses divided by contribution margin per unit. How about break even point in dollar sales? Break even point in sales for dollars. How you calculate it? Again, fixed expenses divided by contribution margin ratio. Fixed expenses divided by contribution margin ratio. How about target profit? In order to calculate target profit, is the same as break even point, just add the target profit that you want. Let's say you want $100,000 target profit. So how do you calculate that based on number of units that you need to sell? It's again, fixed expenses plus target profit divided by contribution margin per unit. One more time, fixed expenses plus target profit divided by contribution margin per unit. And that provides you number of units that you need to sell to get to that target profit. Uh, target profit in sales dollar equals to break even point uh, equals to fixed expenses plus target profit divided by contribution margin ratio. Fixed expenses plus target profit divided by contribution margin ratio. That gives you dollar amount of sales that you need to sell to get that target profit. And margin of safety is the amount of sales that you are normally selling above the break even point sales. And that gives you margin of safety, how much cushion how much margin of safety you have. <clears throat> okay, so let's go to an exercise and solve few problems. I wanna do exercise four. Okay, so in exercise four, uh, the company sold 50,000 units, total sales were 200,000, total variable expense were 120,000, and fixed expenses were 65,000. Okay, hold on to those data. What is the company's contribution margin ratio? Contribution margin ratio is sales, It sells minus variable expense, gives you contribution margin dollar amount, and then contribution margin dollar amount out of 200,000 sales, that gives you 40% contribution margin. That means 40% of every dollar of sales you have, it is your contribution margin which is available to pay for fixed expenses. Contribution margin, $80,000 is the dollar here that is available to your company to pay for all fixed expenses. And contribution margin for management, managerial accounting, it's a very important information. You managers want to know what is the contribution margin per unit, what is contribution margin uh, percentage and uh, using those you can calculate cost volume profit analysis number two what is the estimated change in the company's net operating income if it can increase sales volume by 250 units and total sales by thousand dollars Okay. So the change in net operating income from an increase in total sales of 
thousand dollars can be estimated using contribution margin ratio. We know every dollar, 40% is contribution margin ratio. So if you have total of thousand dollars extra sales, 40% of contribution margin ratio, that means multiplied by 40%, that gives you $400 estimated change in net operating income because you will have more contribution margin. That means you will have more profit. Okay, so knowledge of contribution margin ratio, it, it will help you easily to calculate if you sell this dollar amount, let's say $1,000, more sales, how much your net income will increase. So here is total sales of $200,000, 50,000 units. Selling price is $4 per unit, agree? 200 divided by 50. So we are selling for $4 per unit. If we sell $1,000 divided by $4 per unit, that gives us additional increase of uh, unit sales of 250. 250 units will increase. Original sales was 50,000. So new total unit sales now will be 50,000 to 50, right? And based on 50,250 unit sales, your sales will become $201,000. Your variable expenses are 60%, right? So 60% of 201,000, that's $120,600. Contribution margin is 40%. So 40% of 201,000 is 80,400. And fixed expense is always fixed. Nothing gonna change there. So 80,400 minus fixed expenses will become $400 more net operating income compared to the original sales val uh, volume. Cool. And that's just the proof. But the easy answer is right there. And that's how contribution margin ratio helps you because you can easily calculate the amount of net operating income without going through all this calculation. Make sense? Let's do one more. In exercise 6-5, the problem says, Data for Herman Corporation are showing below selling price per unit, which is very important information, variable expense per unit, and contribution margin per unit. Those are very, very important information in for management. And now we want to see the percent of, of sales. So percentage of sales is always 90 out of 90, that's 100%. But 63 out of 90, that's 70%. 27 out of 90 is 30%. So 27 divided by 90, 30%. Now you have all your percentage of sales. Fixed expenses are $30,000 per month and the company is selling 2,000 units per month. Required. How much will net operating income increase or decrease per month if the monthly advertising budget increases by $5,000? So fixed expenses here kind of go up by 5,000. The monthly sales volume increases by 100 units and total monthly sales increases by 9,000. So since you know the contribution margin, it's very easy to understand those, but let me show you this solution anyway. So the current sales as you see, the information data are here. Sales is 180, variable expenses is 126,000. Contribution margin gives you $54,000. And fixed expenses are 30. That, therefore, your net operating income is 24,000. If you increase your sales by $9,000, then 
the uh, variable expenses per unit will increase also. So if you calculate that, that will be $132,300 variable expense per unit, which comes from here, $63, okay? And you are selling 100 more units. Contribution margin therefore will ends up to be um, 56,700, but your fixed expenses are going up by 5,000. That's not good. Therefore your net operating income will decrease instead of increase. Why? $2,300. And uh, that's a, not a good idea to spend $5,000 for marketing where we might just add another 100 units of sales. The additional alternative solution is also easy because you say expected total contribution margin will be 189,000 times 30% uh, contribution margin ratio, which is 56,700, right? So present uh, total contribution margin is 30% of 180, which is 54,000. So that gives you incremental contribution margin of only 2,700. However, we are going to spend 5,000 fixed expense every month because of that. And that gives us a negative situation uh, by $2,300. The other alternative solution that you can do is saying, hey, my incremental contribution margin is 30% of 9,000 increase in sales, that's 2,700. I'm gonna spend $5,000 for fixed expenses to get such a contribution margin. That will be obviously not a good idea because I will be in deficit by 2,300. Good? Okay. Um, I was also thinking uh, for break, even point to show you a formula. Let's see if I have it somewhere here. Um, I remember I had that, yes. Yeah. So let me for break even point, show you this um, paper. Okay. So one second, I'm gonna stop sharing and show you my camera. Okay. So as you see, how do you calculate break even point in sales unit? Remember, every business needs to pay fixed expenses. That's the major issue for every business. So that's at top of their mind. That's why it's at top of this equation. Plus a zero target profit because we are thinking about break even point. So fixed expenses plus zero target profit for the break even point divided by contribution margin per unit. You want break even point in units. That's why you divide it by contribution margin per unit. So for break even point in sales dollars, same thing, you always have an issue as a business manager, how to pay for fixed expenses. That's at top of your mind. That's why here is at the top of the equation, plus zero target profit because we are focusing on break even point divided by contribution margin ratio. Here you want dollar, that's why you have to use ratio. The target profit is the same formula. You want to know how many units you need to sell to get to the target profit. So fixed expenses that it's your main concern, plus put the dollar amount for the target profit that you want in here, add them up, divide by contribution margin per unit, that gives you target unit sales. If you want target sales dollar, then same thing, fixed expenses plus target profit that you have in your mind, add them up, divide by contribution margin ratio, and that gives you the uh, target dollar sales. 
for target sales dollar. Cool? Okay. So let's stop that, go back to sharing my screen again. And um, let's see if anything else. Um, let, let me do one more problem from chapter six for you. Ah, it's not finished chapter five. So it says a $2 increase in variable expense will cause the unit contribution margin to decrease from $27 to $25, obviously, with the following impact on the net operating income in the second part of the question. So expect a total contribution margin with higher quality components. It will be 2,000 units times 10% increase in sales times $25 per unit sales price and that will be end up by $55,000. But our variable expense has increased by $2. So instead of 25, now it's two, 27. So 2000 times 27, that's 54,000 minus 55,000. That gives you change in total contribution margin of just $1,000. So 55 minus 54 is just 1,000. Make sense? So here, by using better quality component, we know that variable expense will increase, but because of the increase in sales by 10%, that would create more income for the company eventually by $1,000. That was a good problem. So let's do one more here break even point. So you remember I gave you already the formulas. So the question says, the company distributes a single product, a woven basket whose selling price is $15 per unit and whose variable expense is $12 per unit. The company's monthly fixed expense is for the $200. Calculate the company's break even point in unit sales, calculate the company's break even point in dollar sales. And if the company's fixed expenses increases by 600, what would become the new break even point in unit sales and in dollar sales? Okay, so hold on to that. And here is the solution the break even point in unit sales is Q quantity, is computed as follows. So you want your profit to be zero, right? So your profit is zero. Unit contribution margin is $15 minus 12, which is $3 times number of quantity that you need to sell minus fixed expenses. If you solve it for Q, your Q ends up to be uh, 1400 basket. That's the way that your book is showing. But also I have my formula that I, I told you. Remember I said fixed expense plus zero target profit divided by contribution margin per unit. Fixed expense is 4,200. You see it right there? Fixed expense is 4,200. Divide by contribution margin per unit of $3. And that gives you break even point in units of sales that you need to sell to break even. That was my formula. So fixed expense one more time, plus zero target profit, divide by three, contribution margin per unit. Break even point in dollars, how do you do that? Again, I said 4,200 plus zero target profit, divide by contribution margin ratio. Contribution margin ratio. Contribution margin is, uh, $3 out of 50, uh, 15, three out of 15 is using a calculator, 30 divided by $15 sales, that's 20%. So for the 200 divided by 0.2, that gives you $21,000. Uh, $21, Twenty uh, of sales. So here is the answer again, if you like it that way. 
So this is your the way your book is doing, but I also explained the way I was calculating using my uh, fixed expense plus zero target profit divided by contribution margin ratio. Okay, the contribution margin ratio, uh, it says, uh, how about if our fixed expenses goes up from 4,200 to 4,800? Let me read the question one more time so you see, remember. If the company fixed expenses increases by 600, so from 4,200 goes to 4,800, what would become the new break even point in unit sales in dollars? So. Since the fixed expenses went up, then if you say, say okay, I have $4,800 of fixed expenses plus zero target profit divided by contribution margin per unit of $3, then I need to sell 1,600 basket to break even. Previously, I was going to sell 1,400 to break even. Now I have to sell 1,600 units to break even. And if you are selling 1600 units to break even and sales amount is 15 bucks per unit, that means you have to have $24,000 of sales to break even. Okay. If you want target profit, just add target profit to the fixed expense and do the same math and that will take care of your calculation for target profit. Anyway, um, let me know if you have any question. My office hours are open to you and uh, you can stop by anytime you like. Stay in touch, bye-bye.